um, this is Edward from HAXL. So as you all know, the IBA exam is coming soon in a week time for math. So uh, I'll review the question type for you in this video. So this is for math higher level. So the first question is on uh, function. So you're given a, a, a rational function, fx equals 4x plus 1 over x minus 2. So how do you sketch this one? So absolute sign, right? So first of all, 1 over fx. Always remember, you have to flip it over first, right? So step 1 you flip over the equation first, right? Because one divided by that will, will be equal to x minus two over four x plus one. Okay, so second step, don't do the absolute sign uh, yet, okay? Because you can actually draw the graph of this first, okay? So how do you draw the graph? First, you find an asymptote. Find x, y asymptote, okay? So that means like, I mean vertical and horizontal asymptote. So how do, you find vert how do you find vertical asymptote? Always remember, it's the bottom equal to zero, denominator equal to zero, right? So you look at this one. So 4x plus 1 equal to zero, x is equal to minus 1 over 4. So that's how you get the vertical asymptote, okay? And then find a horizontal asymptote. So how do you find horizontal asymptote? Always sub in x equals to 1099, or you can say infinity into the equation, right? Okay, so into this equation. So you sub it into uh, infinity into here. So just look at the number in front of the x, right? This is 1 and this is 4, right? So infinity, infinity. So this one you can ignore that. Then y is equal to 1 over 4, yeah? Okay, so one more example of that is like if I give you 3x minus 2x uh, plus 4. So what is the horizontal, uh, horizontal asymptote? That would be 3 over 1, right? y equals to 3. So this is a very basic skill. And then, after you find the asymptote, you need to find the intercept. Yeah? So intercept, x, y intercept. So when is y intercept, you sub in x equal to 0, right? So it will be minus 2. And how about x intercept? x intercept is when the y is equal to 0, right? So y equals 0, then x minus 2 equals 0, x is equal to 2. Yeah? So after all this, then you can start to draw the graph. Okay? Don't draw the absolute sign graph yet. So draw the original one. So uh, we plot the x-intercept is 2 and the y-intercept is minus 2, right? And also the vertical asymptote. Vertical asymptote is minus 1 over 4, right? And for the y-intercept is 1 over 4, okay? Yeah? So, and rational function, the graph is always like this. So, you, you have the asymptote right here, so pass through the x-y-intercept, right? And the opposite graph must be right here, okay? So, if I have the line if, if I have a curve right here, then it will be opposite to this way, yeah? So step four, then you do the absolute sign, okay? So absolute sign, that means, what does it mean by the absolute sign here? That means all the y is positive, right? There's no negative y. So there are only one bit that is negative, yeah? So you flip it up. Okay, so maybe I use the other color. So this one would be like this, yeah? So then you erase this part. Yeah, so and this is the 1 over affix absolute sign. So you don't need to be afraid of the absolute sign question anymore, okay? So whenever you see this kind of question, it's always paper 1 and 4 mark questions, yeah? So let's move on to the next question. It will be on uh, differentiation kinematic questions. So many students find this confusing, 